Talking Planning presents Bus Week 3. Hello and welcome to day four of Bus Week 3. We've already been on a Mills Tui coach at Transdev Capalaba, a Bus Tech MDI at Surfside, New South Wales, and the beautifully restored Volvo B59 with Queensland Omnibus and Coach Society. Today, I'll show you the last bus from my Bundaberg trip, which also happens to be the latest acquisition at Duffy's City Buses. The vehicle in question is a 2019 Mercedes 0500 LE with Volga and Optimus bodywork. But if I hadn't told you that, you'd probably have guessed it was this. A Mount Gravatt Scania K310UB. That's because I've never seen anyone other than Mount Gravatt use this particular seat fabric inside. It's quite a nice surprise actually, because it has a very green and natural feel. So back to this bus. The 0500 LE is a well-established chassis in the Australian market, with diesel and compressed natural gas fuel options available, Euro 3 to Euro 6 emissions ratings, and orders from key customers including State Transport New South Wales and Transperth. At Duffy's, their sole 0500 LE is a Euro 6 compliant vehicle with the new engine type, a 7.7 litre turbo diesel with 299 horsepower and 1200 newton metres of torque. This replaces a 12 litre motor with equal power outputs, but the old motor had slightly more torque. These are also significantly quieter than the old motor, so let's have a listen now. Keeping in mind that Duffy still has several route service buses without air conditioning, which I have previously reviewed, this is a huge step forward pa for passenger comfort. The patronage on Duffy's buses is pretty limited, as like most regional centres, driving is the preferred method of travel. Adding modern, clean and comfortable buses into the fleet is a good thing, as it might help boost the image of public transport in regional communities which is often grossly underfunded and has poor cost recovery. As far as I'm concerned, this bus is onto a winner, whilst transport nerds like myself and many who probably watch this video enjoy catching older, unusual buses. I think the local community is very keen to see something more comfortable and air conditioned. And as I've said in every other video about Duffy's buses, they're always in great condition and kept clean but now is a great time to make their fleet more modern and comfortable to ensure a fantastic passenger experience. Anyway, I'm almost at Stockland Shops now, so it's time to say thank you for joining me, and don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the final day of Bus Week 3.